I was having an issue and uh, I figured out a quick way to fix it. So I wanted to make this video to possibly help other people out. Um, I'm still or I, at the point up until now. I was still running 8.1.1, and the newest is 8.4. Uh, I really want to try out Apple Music, so I decided to lose my jailbreak to upgrade. You know, I mean, it'll probably jailbreak will probably be out within the month, so I backed everything up, you know, like normal, and clicked uh, restore and update. But my computer would just freeze. The uh, I would click update, and then iTunes would just freeze. I tried it 20 times, restarted the computer, tried a different cable, you know, restarted the phone. Unfortunately, I'm not a rich guy that has 10 different computers to try, so. I had to figure out how to make it work, <clears throat> and what I did was uh, I put the iPhone in, I think it's called DFU mode, or like recovery mode basically, where the phone just basically tells the computer, hey, there's a problem, you need to uh, restore it. So what you do to do that, unplug your USB cable, turn the phone off, you know, give it like 30 seconds or so till it's done, turn it off, and then plug your cable in, and as you plug the cable in, you know, it's plugged into the computer. So the phone will turn on. As it turns on, hold the home button, and you'll get the little iTunes logo and the, you know, a picture of the cords, you know, saying to plug it in. And then it popped right up saying, you know, iPhone in recovery mode, need to restore it. And uh, it worked very quickly. That's five minutes ago I did that, and, uh, you know, it's about to be done. I was hoping to go a little bit quicker so I could show you you know, to prove it, but I mean, it's enough proof right here. It's restoring the firmware and recovery mode, and it's about three quarters of the way done. But uh, yeah, like I said, I was jailbroken with uh, quite a bit of stuff, so it's always a little bit trickier to update when you're jailbroken because, for one, you lose all the jailbreak, and then uh, two, there's usually something that wants to cause some kind of problem if you just straight up go to iTunes and click update or update over the air which is like going to your settings and update that was disabled through my last jailbreak so I couldn't even you know click on update it would show there's no updates which was nice so I didn't have the little red you know one on my settings but uh yeah hopefully that helps somebody out I know sometimes you gotta hear somebody else say it before you try something 